welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's Mohammed and I'm in from Masco Tech. And today we will be reviewing questions from questions from lesson 6 to 15. Make sure to like, share and subscribe this video and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Let's, Let's hop right into the video. video. By the way, Eid Mubarak to, to all, all Muslims. Muslims. Happy, Happy Eid. So guys, let's go ahead and start with the quiz. We will be doing review questions from lesson 6 through 15. Let's begin. Question number 1. So, I'm in. Question number 1. What is the command for text? Number 1. Text followed by parentheses and a semicolon. Number 2. Write followed by parentheses and a semicolon. Or number 3. Type followed by parentheses and a semicolon. Choose your answer. Mm, I think number 1. Let's see if it works. Yay! You got it correct. Okay, Mohammed, I'm going to be asking you a question now. Question 2. What are functions? 1. Ellipse followed by parentheses and a semicolon. 2. Fill followed by parentheses and a semicolon. And 3. All of the above. I think I'll go with all of the above because everything's function. Yay! I got it correct. So now I will be asking you a tricky question. Make sure you get it right. Question 3. What is the correct way to write a math expression? This is from the lesson math expression using code. Is it number 1? Write dot math followed by parentheses the expression and then the x value and the y value or is it number 2? Text the and then between the parentheses you type in the expression then x value and the y value which one do you think is correct this is really kind of tricky but i think it's number two all right let's check good yes. job you got it correct my turn to ask you the question question number four what is local and global variables number one a local variable is local uh, and a global variable is global Number two, the concept of local variable, it's any variable that you make inside of n function. And global variable is a variable that you make outside any function. Hmm, this is kind of hard. Yeah. I think it's number two. So let's, let's check. check. And yep, yes, you I got it right. It. So guys, I hope you're answering the questions in the comments, yeah? Alright, so now question 5. What is the command for if statement? Is it number 1? If followed by parentheses and a semicolon. And then, an, I mean no semicolon. If followed by parentheses and a, an open curly bracket and a closed curly bracket. Or is it number 2? If, an open curly bracket and a closed curly bracket. This Which one do you think is correct? This is also a bit tricky, but I think it's number 1. Alright, let's check. Good job, you're going great. My turn. Question 6. What type of value does a Boolean variable represent? Number 1, high or low. Number 2, true or false. I think I'll go with true, for, true or false. <laughs> okay. Is it correct? Let's, Let's check. Yay! Yay! I got it correct. You've been doing really good. So now I will be asking you a true or false question. Oops. So we write else statements after if statements. Is that true or false? It means like we write else statement after we write the if statement. Mm. What do you think is the correct answer? I think it's true. All right, let's see. You're wrong. Yes! I'm just kidding. You're right. Good yes! job. I'm, I'm really bad at You did it. Sometimes. That's, That's it, it for, for the, the video, video, guys. Bye. You did a great job. Yeah, we both did a great job. I I, just I hope it. I hope they answer in the comments.